also like to thank the scientists, not only in S&T and the NBAC, but to the larger scientific and R&D community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Mr. Brian. Thank you very much. So I ask a question that probably some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. Well, the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs, and it does a tremendous number of the lungs, so it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's uh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, Steve, please. You say that the country will be in a better place by early summer. Does that mean you're going to need to extend the social distancing guidelines until then? Well, we may, and we may go beyond that. We're going to have to see where it is. And uh, I think people are going to know. You're